What's that, what's that, dude? Don't forget, it's past four this time. Awesome, I'm thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cheers, mate. Right. <laughs> Alright, see you in a bit, mate. <laughs> Alright, turn up, <out>, bye. <laughs> right, okay, guys, you heard it there. It's part four of the build. Uh, let me explain what's been going on and why I missed a video yesterday. It was a bit of a nightmare, so let's get stuck in. Okay, right, everyone, just a quick little rundown because I didn't put my video up yesterday. I was planning to do a video every single day this until this is built. But I spent most of the most of the day messing with these, trying to figure out what was going on. So my problem is you measure a hundred millimeter pipe for each of these rams on the side. So that's four 100 millimeters. Okay, so I fitted them in, bolted them in, and then as soon as you go to pull it on its location, which is there, you get a kink in the pipe, as you can see. There's a big kink. Now oil's not gonna pass through that. And it's the same for the other one. You put that in its relevant place over to there which is there you get a big kink now that's not right i've tried every single way route and everything to get that right so i've experimented on the other side and i expend, extended the pipe by 20 mil and now i can get a nice loop it's not too tight it's not kinking and it will screw on to its relevant fitting down there so and now I've got to make some more pipes. So this will come in the next video, hopefully. If not, the next video, the video after that. I've still got a cab to build and so on. But this video, we're going to fit the tracks, which I've done. So hang along and I'll show you how I got them done. And they look mean. <laughs> they look awesome. <laughs> look at that. Looks really, really good. I'm going to jump ahead in the manual. I know I said I wasn't going to do that, but I'm going to have to take my time with the hydraulics which i spent quite many hours yesterday doing that a lot of hours just messing about getting very frustrated walking away there's no point doing it when you're angry um we're well not angry just frustrated i wasn't shouting or anything like that just, you know i'm not i'm quite a chilled person so uh today so today we're gonna just do the tracks we're gonna build the tracks of jumping quite ahead of the manual probably near the end so I'm going to do that anyway, get the tracks put, put on so we've got a video for today. And then once I've videoed and edited this bit, I'm going to sit here and work on the hydraulics. So I'll try and get as much of it as I can on video, but it's so fiddly. Um, it, it, it's just so fiddly getting in there. So look, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm working in this tiny little space. There's my fingers. As you can see, it's very tight space. I've still got to tighten down those connections here they're not they, these tiny little connections i can't get nothing on them so somehow i'm gonna have to unbolt this block from the block from the up main block tighten them up and then i can get to these ones here then you've got four pipes again that go on to this block and then you've got two pipes that go onto this block so it's very fiddly so i might get them in there i might film it and then come you know either way you're gonna see something of what I'm doing, I'll, I'll keep you updated. Okay, so the first part of the block, um, these we've got to do, we've got to get a bearing in here, we've got a pin in there, and then a gear on there. Bearing goes in here. They are oiled already, because you can feel it on them. So I'll just get that in. And the pin goes in here, like so. Then inside, we've got this, now, we put this gear on. I mean, the the quality, the weight of that is actually impressive. So it's just like um, like most one tenth and uh, cars. You know, you've got the pin that drives it. So I don't know how good that pin is, but she's locked in place. And then a nut to go on there. You just whiz that down. Five point five mil self-locking M3 nut. That's nice and tight, and that's on there, and it's the same for the other side. So a grub screw either side. So that's do those two built now. Now we've got to put some bearings in these little wheels here. So just pop in. And then that goes through on that with a pin. And then that slots down 
if a little grub screw. Do the same to the other side and I'll be back. Okay, so what we got here, we've got this little mount here that hooks around the key part on this there. And then I have to screw that down into those two little holes you can see there. Right, I've had to uh, scrape a lot of the paint away again because there's probably about two or three mil on some places, especially at these ends here. So let's slide that in to there and see if I can get that. Oh, I can't do it that way either. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> You're testing me. <laughs> so I believe that goes onto here. But I've got to compress that spring until that's kind of fits on. There we go, sorted. Now I just need to put two screws, little button heads in there. Guys, we're going to put these rollers in and leave it. Leave a comment if you ever put something down and you can't find it 30 seconds later, because I've been doing that a lot. So these have all got to have their own bearing either side. And I'll come back when I've done them. But let's go up here, see if we can get running through there. God, the precision is so tight. Oh, there we go. I mean, everything is, oh, look how smooth that is. I don't know if you guys could, Oh yeah. So I'm gonna put the rest in, it's just the same repeat, and then we've got my most favourite thing of all E clips. <laughs> I'll be back when I've got these all in. Okay guys, she's all built now, running nice and smooth. Had to take some paint out the inside of this end here because it was binding up really tightly. Like I say, this paint is gonna probably last a nuclear explosion. It's it's so thick. It's <laughs> absolutely insane so um, i'm going to build the other one off camera and then we'll get some other little bits and bobs put on here and um then get them mounted to the yeah the, then get them mounted to the skid steer okay these are both built now guys all i've got to do is put a panel on either side on both of them and then we mount them onto the actual skid steer itself I'm not locked tight in these because they're going to come off and get painted, I think. So I'm both done, same for the other side. All right, guys, so time to put these on, the tracks on, and I've had to take paint off here again. I mean... It's probably would have been finished by now if it wasn't for the paint. But I keep moaning about it, so yeah, let's get them on. Let's get you in a shot, and, and it's just two screws to bolt these down, line up them holes. Once we've got those, that's it. We'll line up those holes here. Okay, and then two screws in the top there. That one's done. And that one's done. Lovely. That's the same for the other side. And then we'll pop the tracks on. And there we go, guys. We've got both tracks on. She's a roller. <laughs> we'll get the actual rubber tracks on in a mo. I've just got to pop on some like, kind of like a dust shield or something that goes on there. Lots of tiny little screws. I think there's like 10 either side. So we'll get those on and then we'll put the rubber tracks on. All right, there we go. It's not very easy to see, but got the little dust cover on there and I'm gonna do the same the other side. These are on both sides now. Let's get the rubber track on. I'll bring that closer for you guys. We want that in the middle there, over there. I'm gonna compress that. Oh, okay. Like so, oh yeah, <laughs> it's looking good. That's it, 
There we go, guys. There it is, guys. We've got some tracks on the beast now. Can't move it because it's really low geared. What a unit, guys. Look at that. <laughs> yes. So, guys, that's all I'm going to do for this video. It's taken me quite a few hours to get those uh, tracks on because I had to scrape a lot of paint again. Sorry, I keep mentioning paint. But, yeah. Uh, so I've got a couple of little panels just to put on the side here, two little square panels both sides. Uh, the next video I'm going to try either to get these lines sorted out and then and then threaded back up into here and then here, round the back of there, and then these ones go to another little join here. Uh, or if I don't get that done, I will be building the cab, which you can't really fit until you've got the oil in. So you want all the lines on before I put all the uh, oil in. And then after that, me and Steve are gonna sit here and get all the electrics put in here. And some of it will go in here as well. Thanks for watching guys. And I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for your support. If you haven't already, subscribe. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.